We're on the Norwegian getaway cruise ship, sailing into Port Canaveral on our way to the Epcot Festival of the Arts. We're the NYC Travelers. So, we were on an overnight stay in Port Canaveral, except Norwegian wasn't offering a transfer to any of the theme parks the first day. By the time I figured things out, the transfer to the park for the second day was sold out, so we took a car service the first day and the transfer to Disney Springs the second day. Once we got to Disney Springs, it was faster to take another car service to Epcot, directly rather than walk to Saratoga Springs to take the Disney bus. P.S. Why didn't we take any of the other excursions? Well, it wasn't warm enough for us for a beach day because it was February, and Al hadn't been to the Arts Festival yet. And that was our purpose for going to Epcot, to attend the last two days of the International Festival of the Arts. Well, since it's no secret that we love our Epcot festivals, we decided to see what we could do in about six hours total for the two days. By the way, in our opinion, taking a transfer from a cruise ship to Disney or Universal is worth it if you're an annual pass holder, but to buy a one-day ticket for a few hours that's almost about a couple of hundred dollars might not be worth the trouble. Our first order of business once we got to the park on the first day was to eat, of course. It took a little while to actually keep the car service to come all the way out to Port Canaveral for us to get to Epcot. Luckily, since we were staying overnight, we could actually stay there until the park closed. What do you say? Good? Very good. Very good, bro. And then we did the gallery walk of some of the paintings that were on display. Well, really for sale, but for us they were on display. All that culture made us hungry, so of course it was time to eat some more. And even though it seems that the Festival of the Arts is just an excuse to keep all the kiosks open and up in between the Holiday Festival and the Flower and Garden Festival, wow, look, it's yours. there is a bit of a theme of the arts going on. The food and drinks definitely have an artsy theme happening. And look for extra entertainment, in addition to the regular entertainment that happens at Epcot. Each Epcot festival features a concert series, and the one for the Festival of the Arts features the songs that Disney has had on Broadway. And as a little added bonus, if you're in one park, you might see the fireworks from another park. After our concert series break, well, you know what happened with us. It was back on the food line. But in all fairness, we are sharing small bites. And of course, when we got back to the ship that night, we didn't eat anymore. The next day, we took advantage of the entertainment again and got to see Epcot prepare for the next festival, the International Flower and Garden Festival. Get all the empty kiosks. Epcot in between festivals. participants in one of the flower arrangements, we remembered that we're technically at a theme park, so we took in a ride, or two. After that, since we had to buy the Disney Springs transfer because the park transfer was sold out, we headed back to Disney Springs, did not buy the Mr. Toad popcorn bucket, which I regret, and headed back to the ship. All in all, although it was a very short time in Epcot, it was worth it since we are annual pass holders and we got to see a little bit of the festival. Well, Al did anyway because I had been before. We're the NYC Travelers and we've been to Epcot through a cruise excursion.